Uh, hello, my name is Elder Girfanov. I'm the developer of uh, HSM Advisor Speed and Fit Calculator. And uh, today I'm going to show you how to create uh, tooling with uh, custom manufacturer speed and fits. So, for example, uh, two manufacturers such as Hanita uh, supplies you with um, speed and fits tables for uh, for their end mills for different sizes for different materials. And now I'm going to show you how to create a tool and uh, how to enter all the information into the HSM advisor. So we start with the with the tool type, material type, and so on. So machine is rele relevant. We select the, the material type, which would be, for example, uh, stainless steels. Let's start with the with the softest and easiest to machine. Pre-cutting stainless steels. There you go. Uh, we select uh, tool type. As per uh, Hanita specification, it's a high performance sandmill, which means it is it's able to uh, make very deep cuts at high speeds and feeds. So we will use uh, high performance solid uh, solid sandmill. It is uh, carbide. Coating. It's uh, aluminum, aluminum titanium nitride coating on that tool. Now we select the size. Uh, for example, half inch. Let's start with that one. We choose the number of uh, fluids. Tool stick out. That's the stubby end mill. And you can make this, I think, uh, 38 degrees for that particular end mill. It's not a ball nose. Um, and basically this icon here it shows that the speed and feeds are um, supplied by the HSM advisor itself so uh, it's automatic so what you do now is you click add to and here we see the standard uh, tool information box what speed and feed uh, tables need is the brand name and series name. So brand name is uh, Hanita. Hanita and series name is uh, Larry Mill. And tool supplier doesn't matter. serious happens but now you can edit the speeds and feeds for this um, for this material and actually for any material you want so we are now we are setting speeds and feeds for uh, free cutting stainless steels so we go to our uh, material specification and we see that um, for this coating the cutting speed is uh, 370 for this material, so we can go 370. Okay, now we have to set up the speed and feed uh, feed table. So the minimum diameter here is 1 8, and the largest diameter is 1 inch. And uh, the cheap load for this one is uh, 8 tenths, and for this one it's 4 tower. So what we can do now is uh, we can populate this table with the, with, with the numbers supplied by the manufacturer. You can just basically edit them the way you want or you can click the generate sizes button and uh, it will create, you will basically have to answer several questions and it will create the chip load tables for you uh, with the data that you supply. 
so the minimum size is uh, one eight largest size one inch there you go one inch one eight minimum one eight, uh, one inch large largest um, please enter the two diameter step so what we need is uh, step between these values mm, so that we, we get the table as close as possible uh, we can use mm, one eight step and then we can add or delete the tools we don't need uh, the, the sizes we don't need or we can use um, uh, one sixteen size so uh, tool step one sixteen okay please enter cheap or for the minimum tool diameter as we see here it's a uh, one uh, ten eight tenths so we put eight tenths okay please enter cheap load for maximum tool diameter it is here for four tau there you go and as you see now our cheap load table has been created now you can basically delete the sizes you don't need or just leave them as is. Now mind you that uh, you probably have to modify the sizes that don't match exactly. What it does is it creates like a line graphic and, it's, uh, and it stretches everything to fit in the range you specified. So some of these values may be off. For example, let's see the half inch, how close it is. Half inch is at 2.7 tau. And in our case we have 2017 so we can change that and we can also delete the rows that we don't need So you have to watch that the default 
depth of cut and width of cut for the tool matches the one given by the manufacturer. So we have here uh, side milling one and a half diameters depth and uh, width of cut half a diameter. So we'll have to make sure it matches. So 0.75 enter and now we, we see that the width of cut is much larger than uh, recommended by the tool manufacturer. So we have to bring it down a little bit. That's close enough. And of course some of the limits may trigger because the default limit is 70% uh, load. So up to 100 is safe and sometimes I go up to 150 for tools I know we'll take it so now our width of cut is close to uh, manufacturer recommended and depth of cut is also this one is here and you can see that the chip load is uh, what is recommended by the manufacturer and the speed as well you can verify it here that's the recommended uh, chip load and that's what we're getting it will modify some values as it sees, but it's going to be trying to stick to whatever you uh, you gave into that table. So let's not remember the or uh, forget this. Um, it's called the performance slider. What you need is to save that position. How you save it is you go to uh, edit tool geometry mode, and then you save tool. That's it. Now, whenever you pick up that tool from the list again, this will load with the uh, with the settings that you left. And uh, basically, that's it. Now you can start uh, making cuts and seeing how it works. For example, if you want to do high speed milling with that, we go 10% a radial full depth of cut. Uh, which you check high chip tuning, high speed machining, and we see that our RPM is uh, 4,779 4, inches per minute at 4 uh, inches per tooth uh, chip load. Usually, for uh, high speed machining, this will work, but what I like to do is uh, increase the performance. Uh, feed rate to 150% and this is basically what is recommended by many manufacturers so you see heavy roughing uh, use caution and the tool should be able to take it yeah, we see we have quite quite a lot of room here the, the torque limit triggers at 160 That's it. Thank you for watching and uh, keep tuned in.